Is that why men aren't getting married, even though they want to get married? I, I think men have a right to be picky, though. But that's not really? fair. It's not fair, though. I'm it's not fair. Younger, but it is this, a, this is a fact, though. These are facts. Yeah. Girl, girl, speak on that a little bit. So, Priscilla, you had a question just now about being picky, so I'll ask that first. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know. Is it that, because somebody else said it earlier, being set in our ways, does that make it just so much more, like, you're picky, yeah. You have this no. perfect no. person. Or is it that you compromise? Is that why men aren't getting married, even though they want to get married? I, I think men have a right to be picky, though. I yeah. I, if you, if you, yeah. You're too cutthroat, though. You lot are too cutthroat with it. Man. But listen, this I've always said, Stuart, Stuart knows, I've always said this is a business you're entering into. And it's uh, like, listen, uh, I'm gonna that. I'm you have to be, that. you have to be, you have to, you have to be cutthroat. You have to be cutthroat. It's time, time is of the because, essence. Time listen. is of the essence. No, I think it is true. It is like business. No, it's because you're married. You want to come within bars. Try to <laughs> tell my wife to be that this is a business and she will be planning her no, financial estate. I don't, I, no, 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 no. No, I don't think no, it's no, a no, thing no. that you say no, to no, no, but in relation to the it's not in the relation to how you deal with it and how you manage it not and how you move but forward. It is. With it. Not at all. Business, business. It's like a contract, it's a covenant. No, well, Listen, it, 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 feels it, feels cold. Cold. it feels cold, but the matter of fact, it is because when the divorce comes, because I think any man that thinks about marriage must have thought about divorce. If he ain't thought about divorce, then I don't know where his head is at. Prior to the marriage, though. No, prior to the marriage, of course. That's why people sign prenups. That's why people sign prenups. Exactly. How can you not thought about divorce before you marry someone? You have to. It's all nice to think about the lovey-dovey stuff, but... You must, even with me, like, I, even though I never thought that my, I, I don't think my missus will divorce me or whatever, if we both keep, you know, certain standards, but it has crossed my mind, like, what if? It should, yeah. it should cross your mind, like, what if? And <laughs> when you hear the horror stories of women waking up and this moving on, where the guy, <laughs> bro, sitting there it's shaking but it's real though. Like it and, it's, and when you go to the court, when you go to the court to sort everything out, it, it's gonna be all business. It's gonna be who's getting what. It's gonna be how much money am I getting? Give this me my cut. This I'm so. I'll be real. And most of the men that I've heard of who have been stung the hardest, again from my personal experience of what I've heard, they are the nicest guys ever. Would never uh, sleep. But yet you're they not with their women. Yeah, same not thing, same thing. No, you're, you're, saying, you're, not with them. you're not with them in that bedroom. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about yeah. in terms of what they do well, that, on the outside. That's a good point, Priscilla. That's a yeah, good but point. That's not, what <laughs> that's not what matters. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's not. Unfortunately, that's not what matters. What matters. So what you think is justifies what happens what in happened? the bedroom? No, no I didn't say that. No, not just it. in the bedroom. Just. But listen, their life in general. Yeah. Yeah. What happens on the outside? We can listen. We can all say. How nice we are to our partners. We can say from the outside look great. Like what what matters? As well. Wait, Riders, wait, wait. What ma- mm. Listen, what matters? Some. What matters? <laughs> What matters is what happens on the inside. Yeah. That's what matters. Exactly. So if like, they're getting stuck, if they're getting stuck, you don't, it's just like a point. We don't yeah. see, we don't see what's going That's on. That's it. It's too fast to show your headache. And the funny thing is, yeah, and I'll tell you now, there's people that I know that have got divorced, and in my head, I'm like, I don't think you've done the, the correct due diligence on this lady that you married. Mm. Yeah? No. You, 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 you have to under, and this is why people shouldn't be in a rush. You need to understand. You know, I've been in a situation where I haven't had conversations. Do you want kids? Do you want this? Do you want that? What's your opinion on even things that I'm hearing, like the last name? I know people that have broken up because they've never had that conversation about when the baby's born. Is it going to be yeah. your name? Is it going to be a double barrel name? Certain man want that name yeah, yeah. on that's, the that's on the birth show. certificate. So when you don't have these conversations with the people that you're talking to because you've maybe <laughs> rushed it or <laughs> this guy <laughs> or you're falling in love with it. <laughs> no, you don't, Lloyd, though. You're no, because yeah. pe- yeah. people be falling in love with the looks, yeah. Oh, this girl's Thank nice, you. yeah. That's but right. they don't want to know the questions like, all right, you're nice. What are you gonna do in this situation? What do you think mm. about that? You know. I mean, Facts. but as an African man, your name must be held. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, just... you agree with it? <laughs> huh? I'm not married an African woman, Shayboy, so you have to. I don't care. But this is what I'm. But this is. But Shayboy, you're but making a point. You might. You have. 
you might talk to a girl now that you're feeling, get into that conversation and they, you start talking about the double barreled thing and she's like, I don't care. I'm having a double barreled name. Yeah? Yeah, because... What do you do in those situations? It's easy, it's easy. Go have a baby with someone else, that's fine. Well, you that's what I'm saying. You have opportunity well, to double barrel all the way over there. I'm not <laughs> saying I don't agree with you, but, but I'm just saying to you. This is the point of what you're saying. You're even... Because it's so easy for you to walk away. This yeah. Is, uh, things are not... No, but I'm taking my child. I'm not, I'm not deserting no baby. <laughs> The course they let you take no child, this is what we're saying. That's what you know I'm saying. They don't let you they, take no child. This is it. When they, if those ladies go it. into the courtroom and sign that document, they sign the document, so they choose the name. So you can say, uh, the point I'm making is that some of those, these pivotal conversations that I know certain men haven't had with their girl, then it ends to that divorce because yeah. you haven't done the due diligence, you don't know what they I think agree. about certain things, etc, etc. Yeah, but like, like marriage as a traditional, um, what's the word? Uh, it's a traditional, uh, not celebration, ritual, marriage. So is, so is a lady taking the man's surname. So in your opinion, in your opinion. Not in this day and age. Exactly. It's traditional. Yeah, tradi- tradi- Some men take women's surnames. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. women. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for this, Mark. Yes. <laughs> Well, the point is, is, do your homework on the girls that yeah. you know. That's it. Yeah, that's it. You have to really. But how do you think of you know? How can we? When you're just trying to get to know someone, it'd be really good to hear you guys from a member perspective. And you're just trying to, you know, what you said earlier, organic, right? How do you mm. remember to bring up all of these conversations if it's just supposed exactly. to be organic and getting to know someone in the journey? Because that doesn't feel so organic to me. It almost feels... It feels like they will come, come though. If it's, but that, if, that's it. They will come. If that person's, you know, you, you as Shea Boy said, you can feel it. You know when that person's the one. So those mm. conversations should come at some stage. It shouldn't be lovey-dovey for the yeah. whole thing and then let's get married. Like, let's talk about, let's conditions. talk about the business. Let's talk about the business. Read that's read what the I terms said. and conditions <laughs> of the contract. <laughs> let's talk about no. the business. Is this the business no, no, end? No, no, no. no, but this is the bin- <laughs> business. What I'm saying is, it's the biz- it's the business end of, of things. It's not It's not yeah. so much, the bi- but it's the business end. Let's talk about the serious stuff. Because you, we can, we, you have to. You have to. You have and to. I'm also going to teach my daughter. I'm going to teach my daughter that you know what? When you're when you're dating, you know when that time comes, you have to have these conversations, and you also you have must... to respect certain things. If that's what a man likes and you don't like it, move on. What's, Do you know what I mean? This way, this, this way it comes down to because you know what? We've all got. Listen, look, we're, we haven't all got kids, but I'm saying like. If you've got certain strong views, yeah, the likelihood is you're going to teach some of those views to your children, right? And in that scenario that you said just now, Priscilla, yeah, if you talk about the double barreled thing, right, let's say you're very strong in your name, you're going to be teaching your daughter that it's very strong that she, you know, your name means something, right? So when she meets a <coughs> woman, right, she may not be very traditional and she may say, do you know what? I'm not giving up my name. Why? Because my name has been taught to me, it's been drummed into me that my name is my name. Okay, wait, wait. I have people. I know people that I know. I, I know people in my family that did not change their name. I'm not on that. I, I'm, I'm not on okay, that. Okay, a couple of things. Okay, a couple of things. I need that name I need that name change ASAP. I need that name change. But you know what? If you think about it, yeah, I need it. But if you think about it, yeah, if you think about it, that's probably one of the only, not only things, but one of the main things a man is receiving from the marriage is you taking on his name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When we, when, like, when we speak about divorce, yeah, let's be honest, like, it's real. A woman will, will end up taking a lot of things out of that, out of that marriage. And that's just the way the system is built. It's not nothing to do with a woman. Unless she's the breadwinner. Yeah. Unless, she's the breadwinner. Unless she's the breadwinner. Oh, yeah, which charisma probably will be, you get me? But not everyone's like you. Not, ev- not everyone's like you, charisma. <laughs> <laughs> not everyone. <laughs> You know, the vibe. Everyone's like her, yeah, Bob. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Not every girl's bossed nah. up like that, okay? Yeah. Oh, so. Oh. <laughs> No, it's facts. It's facts. It's facts. Would you say? Would you say? Would you say? Nowadays, women are uh, one, one, one at a time, guys. One at a time. And like, 
like, like to you lot's point, I think you're right. Traditionally, it is more that the man has got a bit more to lose. To be fair, yeah. 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 Actually, I, I think nowadays that isn't always the case. Like I do think Thank there's you. a lot of high earning women or women working and then also you know how do we quantify the woman that's raising the children as a stay at home more because you can't put a price on that like i heard you guys this podcast would say repler and stuff and you guys were talking about that that you know you're not getting paid a salary to do all the caregiving so ultimately you shouldn't Mass be, and like fees, men are so um <laughs> business minded to think ah oh, if we get divorced, like, da, 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 da. but I think that's, I think that's, I think that's why men are more apprehensive about yeah. going into marriage agreed, because agreed. these are the things that they think about, okay. like first, okay, the looks can be there, that's fine, but all right, let's talk about the the numbers now. Yeah.